Once there was a man who dreamed that he was in a great hall where all the religions of the world were gathered. He realized that each religion had much that seemed desirable and worthy. He met a nice couple who represented the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and asked, what do you require of your members? We do not require anything, they replied, but the Lord asked that we consecrate all. The couple went on to explain about church callings, home and visiting teaching, full-time missions, weekly family home evenings, temple work, welfare and humanitarian service, and assignments to teach. Do you pay your people for all the work they do? The man asked. Oh no, the couple explained. They offer their time freely. Also, the couple continued, every six months our church members spend a weekend attending or watching 10 hours of general conference. 10 hours of people giving talks, the man wondered. What about your weekly church services? How long are they? Three hours every Sunday. Oh my, the man said. <laughs> do members of your church actually do what you have said? That and more. We haven't even mentioned family history youth camps, devotionals, scripture study, leadership training, youth activities, early morning seminary, maintaining church buildings, and of course, there is the Lord's law of health, the monthly fast to help the poor, and tithing. The man said, now I'm confused. Why would anyone want to join such a church? <laughs> the couple smiled and said, we thought you would never ask. <laughs> now, why would anyone join such a church? At a time where many churches throughout the world are experiencing significant decreases in numbers, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is one of the fastest growing churches in the world. And you heard President Monson today, more than 15 million now. There are many reasons for this, but may I offer just a few.